crush. I am about to crush 2023 like you. Hopefully, just crushed that thumbs up button to let me know, yo, Alpha, I'm with you. I'm about to dominate. I'm about to make 2023 my... Are you allowed to say make something your bitch? I don't, I don't know that I am, but I just did, and I'm about to, gentlemen. If you're with me, drop it like I asked you to earlier. Anyway, here's the truth. If you expect to dominate 2023, you got to stop doing the stupid ass things that you're doing in 2022, because unfortunately, they are absolutely holding you back from realizing the potential that I know you have. Gentlemen, today, I'm going over 10 10 stupid things that you need to stop doing. Number one is sleeping with dirty senoritas and not rapping that rascal. Now, I'm not saying she's a bad girl. I'm not slut shaming. I am simply saying if you want to achieve and kick ass, you got to rap that rascal. Just because she's like, yo, I'm on the pill. Don't believe the hype. Just because she's like, you're the first guy I've ever done that with. Don't believe the hype. Gentlemen, you've got to make sure that you're protecting number one. Number one is you. So rap that rascal if you're going to get frisky. Number two, stop comparing yourself to other people. Now, the reason why this is so dangerous and detrimental is that what we see on social media, on the internet, on YouTube is the 1%. We see these incredible people doing incredible things. And when we compare ourselves and where we are to them, it makes us feel insecure. It makes us feel bad about ourselves. The only person you should be comparing yourself to is who you were yesterday. It's not about being as good as them. It's about being better than the person you are today. It's not about them. It's not about what they have, what they're doing, how much ass they're kicking. It's you. Where are you? you compared to where you started? Are you moving in the right direction? Are you progressing? If the answer is yes, keep doing it. Number three, stop smoking so damn much weed and stop drinking alcohol. Stop getting blackout drunk for two reasons. Number one is you are going to do yourself damage. I don't want you to develop a habit. I don't want you to make any of the stupid ass decisions that you make when you've been drinking or doing drugs. And even though people are like, oh, weed is no big deal. Drink is no big deal. It is a big deal and it is going to hold you back and prevent you from achieving everything that you can. You're not going to feel as good. You're not going to look as good. You are not going to kick as much ass if you're fucking around with that bullshit. Number four, stop blaming other people for where you are, where you aren't, where you've gotten to, whatever. It is nobody else's responsibility. It is nobody else's fault that you are where you are. It is yours. If you don't like your current situation, change it. And if you're mad at somebody because of whatever they did in the past that's holding you back, deal with it. If it means you got to have those hard conversations, have them. If it means you've got to forgive somebody, gentlemen, forgive them, including yourself for not being perfect. It's okay okay that you F things up. It's not about where you were. It's about where you're going. Do not look back. Look forward. Number five is stop neglecting your peers. Do you even realize how potentially sexy and attractive you are? I don't think you do because if you did, you would dress better. Do not neglect your style. The quickest and easiest thing that you can do in order to get respect from other people is start dressing better. The second thing I need you to do is pay attention to your grooming. If you're a savage, nobody's going to respect you. Nobody's going to kiss you. Nobody's going to want to make out with you or get sexy with you because you're nasty. The other thing I need you to do is start taking better care of your skin. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Tej Hanley. 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 The essentials. T. Shanley gives you the essential skincare products that every single guy needs in order to look incredible and have amazing skin. Now, in every system, you're going to get this. It's an instruction card that tells you what time of day to use what product, in what order, and even how much. Now, if you're new to skincare, guys, or just getting started, go with the level one system, right? It's going to come with your face wash. Use this twice a day, morning and night, to remove the oil, the dirt, the grime that builds up. Twice a week, you're going to use an exfoliating scrub. Little small circles of this in the shower is going to going to help remove the top dead layer of skin, bring new, fresh, sexy skin to the surface. Also helps keep your pores nice and open and sexy. And then twice a day, you need to moisturize. Morning, an AM moisturizer with an SPF of 20. And then before you go to bed, this is the step that a lot of guys miss. They neglect to actually apply a moisturizer before they go to sleep. But when we sleep, this is when our body is rebuilding and rehydrating and replenishing that handsome ass face. And so you're going to use this before you go to bed. And that's it. That is a basic skincare routine that each and every one of you 
should do. That's a level one. Now, if you're a little bit older, you want to take it next level, go with the level two, which is going to come with an anti-aging eye cream that fights puffiness, dark circles, and crow's feet. Or if you want to use the system that I do, I go top of the line. Level three, which comes with not only the core four products, it comes with the eye cream, but also the anti-aging serum. The serum helps fight free radical damage and helps even and soften your skin tone. Guys, bottom line is this. Right now, for a limited time, whichever T. Shanley system you want to grab, we're going to have a special link down below that's going to give you 30% off your first month. You're also going to get to choose an incredibly badass free gift that I'm a little bit jealous of, but you got to go through the link to actually see what it is. Guys, if you want to look incredible and have a super sexy, handsome face in 2023, stop neglecting it. Start doing the simple, basic things that you need to do every single day in order to have a sexy ass face. And it starts with you hitting that link down below and getting started with T. Shanley. T. Shanley is the best skincare system on the market, period. We give you the products you need, nothing extra. It's uncomplicated, it's high quality, and it is crazy affordable. And with that 30% off special link, guys, you gotta go through there and the super sexy free gift. You cannot afford to miss this offer. Guys, do something amazing for you, your handsomeness, and your confidence in 2023. The way I like to think of it, guys, is T. Shanley is literally like fitness for your face. You work out, you lift weights, you go to the gym for your body. Well, T. Shanley is what you do for your face. It's make it sexy and strong in your face to be clear and sexy. It doesn't have a bunch of blackheads and blemishes or oiliness, guys. If you want a handsome face, quick, easy, simple, T. Shanley, link below, 30% off. Since we're talking about fitness, maybe, 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 maybe this year, maybe this year is the year that you finally stop making excuses as to why you can't exercise. Guys, here's the truth. If you want to be healthy, if you want to look good, if you want to feel incredible and your confidence through the roof, start exercising, taking care of your body. Body. It doesn't mean you need six pack abs. It doesn't mean you need to have gigantic biceps, but do what you need to do every single day in order to take care of that temple because your body is a temple. Speaking of your body, the seventh thing that you need to stop doing is worrying about Big Al, right? Your wiener. Dudes are so freaked out about it, right? We're either thinking, oh, it's too small, it's too big. Like, actually, nobody thinks it's too big, right? It's too small, and then you're doing weird things like retention or no fap, and you're like, wait a second, I'm gonna be able to see through walls. Yo, let it go. Gentlemen, don't worry about it. Do what you need to do. Don't do what you need to do or don't do. It doesn't matter, but stop obsessing about your dick. Which brings me to the eighth stupid thing you need to stop finally doing, and that is obsessing about the spicy action, right? About women. Come, Dude, you gotta act like you've been there before. Stop looking at so much damn porn. Stop looking so much at Instagram and TikTok and all these girls showing their bodies. Guys, you need to be better than that. If there's a girl that you've been thinking, damn, I would love to date her. I would love to ask her out. Now, this is the year, gentlemen, that you're finally gonna get the balls. Grab them right there. Squeeze it. Ah! And then do it. Go up and ask her. Be like, yo, Mama Sita, why don't we go out? I want to take you out for tacos. What's the worst thing that happened? She says, no. Okay. She has a boyfriend. She's not interested. She doesn't eat tacos. She wants a burrito. Your burrito. <laughs> maybe she does. Maybe she doesn't. Fear regret. I want you to stop living with the fear of rejection or failure and start being worried about regretting, not trying something or doing something incredible. Which brings me to the ninth stupid thing you need to stop, and that is waiting for perfect timing. You have planned, you have thought, you've contemplated, you've prepared, you've watched other people, and you're ready, you're almost ready. Gentlemen, you're ready, do it, jump. Do not wait for perfect timing, it doesn't exist. You're gonna start, you're gonna try, things are gonna mess up, or you'll succeed, or you fix, or you evolve along the way. But the one thing that holds so many guys back is the fear of actually starting, the fear of failure. It's so strong, so prevalent that they never actually take action. They spend all their time thinking and planning and contemplating to help them try to limit the risk. The truth is that there is risk and you're never going to avoid it. You're never going to get out of it. You are going to fail along the way. Pick yourself up, grab the bulls and let out a yell. Ah, oh, yeah, that feels good. It also feels good getting off your ass, and finally doing what you've been talking about doing, gentlemen. The last thing, number 10, the big one. Stop doubting how fucking awesome you are because you are effing 
amazing. You're awesome. You literally are the best dude I've ever met. 2022, it was hard. It was hard for me. It was probably hard for you. It's about to be behind us. You have a choice. What are you going to do in 2023? Are you going to make it the best year yet? Are you going to achieve? Are you going to strive? Are you going to kick ass and dominate? And if you stop doing the things that we talked about in this video, chances are you're going to kick a lot more ass than your buddy Brad and all of your friends, which actually brings me to a bonus tip. Stop hanging out with losers. Now, this is the year, gentlemen. This one, 2023, you got to get rid of those lazy losers that you've been hanging out with that are holding you down. You also need to get the toxic people out of your life. If there's somebody in your life that doesn't make you feel good, that makes you feel worse, that maybe neglects you or treats you poorly or talks behind your back, it's time to get them the hell out of your life because you are amazing and you deserve better. And 2023 is going to be the best year of your effing life. And don't forget, if you want to look effing amazing, hit that link down below. Hello, try T. Shanley to get 30% off your first system plus a free badass amazing gift. Link below.